The Begassing M4, I quite liked it. It's a cheap speaker, about 50 quid in uh, British money, around $60 in America, and hopefully equivalent in other countries. And then you said to me, hang on a sec, isn't that the Tronsmart Force? Isn't that the Exdobo Wait 1983? And a bunch of other speakers. Well, yes, it does look like a bunch of other speakers. We've seen this before, most noticeably with the W King D8, where, yes, the same box, the same generic container, but the gutsit side is a little bit different. I don't know if that's the case with the Bogassing. Of course, it's made in China. Oh, speakers on this table, currently made in China. We've come to expect that. But does it sound different from the lookalikes? I don't know. I can only tell you the one I have in my hands sounds pretty decent for the money. I say pretty decent. I already told you the default mode, which is what they call 3D mode, 50% and below, then it works, 50% and above. Yes, you're gonna, it's gonna be completely out of control. It's gonna distort and that high end is gonna sound a little bit awful, but hey ho, it will be listenable, but then switch to what they call super bass mode, which is actually the balance mode. And then it's gonna sound uh, even better above 50%, but switch back to 3D mode, default mode, when you want maximum volume or a bit, it, want it to go a bit louder because super bass mode does not go that loud. So I'm gonna have to get hold of some of the other lookalikes to tell you if indeed it is the same speaker, but they all are, are gonna be around the same price anyway. And what you all was asking me, yes, well, you're saying, oh, it's a bit like the 50 pound champion, is it a contender? First thing I gotta point out, it's bigger than the current pound, for, well, it's not pound for pound, it's the current 50 pound champion, the sound core, the anchor sound core boost, but you can see it's smaller. So I've got to take into consideration the size. I mean, that's amazing for its size, but that is a bit bigger, but good for the price. And then of course the former 50 pound champion, the Tribit Max Sound Plus, there is an upgrade uh, about to hit the shelves, we are told, and everybody's holding on for the upgrade. Personally, I found some of the latest Tribit offerings not quite the value that we've seen in the past. Most noticeably, Tribit Stormbox Pro was a huge uh, disappointment in, in my personal world. But the question you want answered here is, in the 50 pound sector, keep it in mind, it's actually bigger than the other two speakers. How do they compare? Because I've only got 50 quid in my pocket. I don't care about the size. I just want to know what it sounds like. So let's compare them all around 50% volume. <laughs> in mind, because I've already said, a fit below 50%, default mode works best for me and my ears. Above 50%, Alan Ross balance mode, AKA super bass mode. Why <laughs> they call that super bass mode? No idea, it is not super bass mode, unless you want a bit more upper bass and a little bit less deep bass, but hey ho, you probably don't think that's what they were talking about or when they called it super bass mode. Bear in mind, low volume test, I am doing default mode. The high volume tests, I will be doing 
super bass mode, and then of course all modes for maximum volume. And okay, when volume matched, uh, there is actually a tad more bass on that amazing Soundcore Boost upgraded version, but it does sound a bit flat and a bit muddy in comparison to the M4. So at these volumes, I think the best listen here is the Bogassing M4. May or not, may or may, may or may not sound like a bunch of other speakers out there, but does it really matter as long as they're about the same price? I think the V-shape uh, to the to the nature and V-shape and quite bright nature at these at the at low volumes, I think that quite kind of works. Amazing bass for the size and for the money, but a bit muddy with yes, my custom settings you could of course reduce uh, that was the bass in the custom settings. It's going to sound a lot clearer. Why do I only use one setting? Well, I, I use one EQ because I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, and therefore one EQ that I think works for all volumes, but of course it won't be the best at all volumes. Around 70%, 66, 65, 70% is where that EQ I think will work the best. And the Max Sound Plus, it's a very clear, kind of high fi sounding speaker, but in a, an AB like this, it's, it's sounding a little bit brittle in comparison because it, although there is bass weight there, it, it's thin in nature, whereas these are what you would call warm sounding speakers. Okay, we're gonna push it up to Alan Ross Real World a listening volumes around 75%. my money yes it's bigger but if we're just talking about how much it costs the m4 it sounds bigger it sounds fuller it sounds warmer it has the best bass extension but it still has a fair dollop of slam because there is there's also uh upper bass there to provide that uh what you're going to hear as slam compared to the other two speakers so yeah if if size is not the overriding issue at price and at these volumes the winner for me, again, is the Bogassing M4. As we already knew, for my money, the Soundcore Boost upgraded version has the edge on the Tribute Max Sound Plus, but if clarity is the most important thing to you, you're still gonna prefer the Max Sound Plus, and there indeed is your choice. Uh, small and quite impressive in the bass for that size, or a bit bigger and a bit more bass extension and a bigger sound overall, or something a bit clearer. You don't care about bass, you just want something with a bit more of a hi-fi nature uh, and the Max Sound Plus will deliver it. A bit like uh, my previous pound for pound world champion and my current pound for pound world champion, the Max Sound Plus versus the Motion Boom. It's the same sort of scenario. Motion Boom, impressive, amazing, a deep bass at the price and the size. But Max Sound Plus, a bit more separation, more airy, doesn't have the bass slam, but it's a bit more hi-fi in its nature. What's the ultimate headroom on all these speakers? We just want to go loud. We're playing it on the beach or whatever. 
going loud is the overriding requirement from our speakers. 100% volume test. So keep my mouth short and not listen. My friend, I lose you if I didn't. Can we find what we're missing and compromise? So keep my short so I'm not leaving. We're on thin ice winter season. Can we find a single reason not to say goodbye? Oh, if I said what's on my mind, would you stay? Nothing's working, I'm out of service. I'm out of service. Come help me now, I'm fucking nervous. I'm, fucking nervous. I'm trying, but can't scratch, scratch the surface. Uh. So I'll keep my mouth short and not listen. Afraid I lose you if I didn't. Can we find what we're missing and compromise? So in default mode, so-called 3D mode, the Bogassing M4 is by far the loudest. Nearly one and a half decibels up on the Max Sound Plus, but the Max Sound Plus does that by favoring its highs. Not a lot of bass, clearly bass light. So the M4 is four decibels up in bass. The Sound Call Boost does a little better, although not quite as loud as the Max Sound Plus. In terms of the bass, it's three decibels behind the M4, but three decibels down on the highs of the Max Sound Plus. Probably makes it a better listen, certainly for my money. And bringing up the rear is the most balanced mode, but without much headroom. Super bass mode is actually two decibels behind the sound core boost. It does hold on to some bass, but the highs and the mids are not there. Way behind the boost, and even more behind the Max Sound Plus, and even further behind the M4 in its default mode. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's a win again for the Bugassing M4. Am I going to declare it my 50 pound champion? Do you know, I'm not quite sure whether I should say because of the size, uh, it's the sound core boost. But if I, personally, if I had to, if I had 50 quid, here you are, here mate, here's the money, give me a speaker. I, well, I would go for the Bogassing M4. It just gives me a little bit more of everything, to, qu to be quite honest. It is a hassle that you can't get it to come on in the required mode. So if I'm always listening in super bass mode, yeah, super bass mode, the balance mode, which is when it goes green, I'm gonna to have to switch to it each and every time. That's a bit of a hassle, but you know, hey-ho, it's never always gonna be a win-win, is it? Bear in mind, as I already said, another big plus of this speaker is you drop it in a pool, it will play, it will float, and it will play with the drivers up, which means you can actually use it in a pool and leave it there floating, and it will be usable. Very rare uh, if a speaker actually floats and floats with the drivers up and is still usable, playable um, in that scenario. So if you can handle the, the screeching nature of, of the uh, default mode, 3D mode, which isn't not, I've, I've heard worse, to be honest, for loudness mode, then you'll get the maximum volume out of it, but you could switch back to uh, the, th the uh, super bass mode, which I think is artificially limited. There's no reason, if you look f through the frequency, when you see what uh, 3D mode is capable of, there's no reason that super bass mode should be that quiet because Default mode, the default mode doesn't even reduce bass to get the extra volume, which is what, what normally happens. It looks like it's artificially 
limiting, or they're just not pushing the amp, and they're they're actually edging on the, the side of a cleaner sound, rather than let it get as distorted as hell, which can happen in the default mode. The boost does beat the Max Sound Plus, again, for my money, because it's quite it's so bass light -like now, the Max Sound Plus is very brittle to me at maximum volumes. I know a lot of you, I'm never gonna play these things at maximum volumes, but I've got, I've got to tell you because some of you will. And personally, I do get near maximum volumes on these small speakers. In terms of how do they compare, as I said, they're all around the 50 quid. Well, I'm saying around 50 quid, you can actually get these, a pair of these for about 45 quid, but around the 50 pound mark, all made in China, Tribit Max Sound Plus, which is going to be uh, replaced with an upgraded version. Smallest battery, it's 16 watt hours. Sound core boost, 19 watt hours and 24 watt hours. Pretty decent sized battery in the M4, all SBC codex. It's, it's an old speaker, 4.2 Bluetooth on the Max Sound Plus. And it does not do stereo pairing, which is, was always a huge miss. The other two do stereo pairing. No USB-C, but we've got USB-C on the other two speakers. We got an auxiliary. I wonder if they're gonna drop the auxiliary on the new one. We've got an auxiliary on the M4. Can you use them all as power bank? In terms of what they're rated at, now it does go louder, but whether it's the 40 watts that they claim against the 24 watts and 20, watt, 20 watts of the sound core boost, I would imagine that's more like 25 watts maybe, 25, 30 watts mm, at a pinch. I would say that's probably a 25 watt speaker. In terms of weight, it's the heaviest at 731 grams versus 624 grams for the sound core boost, 595 grams for the Max Sound Plus. It's interesting to note, they all have basically two woofers and a passive radiator and two passive radiators except for the big ass thing which has one passive radiator. Of course, it's total size that matters, but they just do it a little bit different on the other two speakers where they have two passive radiators. And the only one here that has a usable app, and of course that's what makes it uh, so good, we can stick our own custom mode on the Soundcore Boost. Soundcore do give us a usable, a decent uh, EQ within their own app, but no app for these other two speakers. And there you have it. You asked for this uh, video, it was always gonna come anyway, of course. I'm talking around 50 quid. I like the speaker, so I had to talk about it in terms of 50 pound champion. I'm gonna have to think about it a bit more. Is it really the 50 pound champion? Well, the problem is I can't get that in the UK at the moment, but then I can get these for less than 50 quid. So I'm gonna have to really think about this. Maybe it's a draw, but just bear in mind, all three speakers offer really good value, but have a different kind of sound nature, or you know, there is that obvious difference in size. Only you can decide which one is gonna work for you or maybe wait for the comparison down the road. I am gonna compare this at some point to the Transmart uh, Force and the Xdobo, weirdly named Wake 1983. Uh, I don't know why they're called 1983. If you know, please, answers on the postcard. But that video's coming. This video told you what we already knew. That's decent value for the money. And we've got nice options now. Of course, there must be two million speakers out there and I've only listened to about 50 of them at, these pri at this price level. You always say, what about that one, that one, that one, that one, that I can't do them all. I can't do them, I wish I could, but I can't do them all. But I'm doing the most obvious ones or the most interesting ones. But there's always gonna be something I missed. And if there's another pound for pound world champion out there that you, I've missed, please, please let me know. Thank you for watching this particular video. I hope you got something out of it and I'll see you in my next video. I got that life, I got that life Ain't a project wife, got my logic right Cause I'm not your type I got that life, I got that life Sorry my heart, I get it right I'ma just live my life I ain't about that, I ain't about that life uh.